All right, time now, 7.30. We do have a Fox 10 News alert at this hour. This is a live look from Kyiv. Now, we are learning within the past 15 minutes that Russian President Vladimir Putin has ordered his country's nuclear defense system to be on high alert. Now, this comes as sources say the takeover of Ukraine is not going as Putin planned. This also comes on the heels that the U.S. and other countries across the globe have issued tough sanctions against Russia. Putin previously warned that countries that interfere with Russian actions could, quote, face consequences like you have never seen. Obviously, this is a breaking news development. We're continuing to monitor this. If we get any new information throughout the morning, we, of course, will pass it along. But it's now on to the latest out of the Ukraine. Russian troops have entered Kharkiv, which is Ukraine's second largest city, which is about 480 miles east of Kyiv and is about half the population of the capital. Take a look. Gunfire could be heard overnight in Kyiv as Russian forces continue their assault on the capital. And as of this morning, Ukraine remains in control of the capital of Kyiv. It comes as President Vladimir Zelensky continues to call for greater assistance. Meanwhile, an oil depot has caught fire after being shelled. This was in the city about 20 miles from Kyiv. You can see all the smoke and flames coming from that area overnight. The city's mayor says, quote, the enemy wants to destroy everything around, but he will not succeed. They were warning residents to keep their doors and windows closed as all of that smoke and debris were in the air. Meanwhile, take a look at this. People in another area uh, packing a stairway that leads to a platform. This is in a city which is near the border with Poland. All these people trying to get out of Ukraine and into Poland. Officials say close to 100,000 people have crossed the Polish-Ukrainian border since the invasion began.